Hi everyone, it's great to see you. So I love BeamNG and BeamNG was one of the first games that I featured on the channel a long time ago. At the moment I focus much more on sim racing but I wanted to bring it back so today I'm going to show you some cool Assetto Corsa content on BeamNG. As ever guys, it's great to see you today and if you are new here, I'd love to have you on board for the journey. So check out the rest of the channel for more sim racing and remember to click on that notify button so you get notified of all new videos. Okay then, so here we are, we're on BMNG, I'm in some form of Subaru Impreza clone which is a fantastic car and here we are on Bathurst. So this is the actual Assetto Corsa Bathurst track that's been imported and changed into BMNG. So this is pretty cool. Now I wanted to test these out for a couple of reasons. The first is I wanted to see what the graphics were like. And actually this track looks almost identical to what it runs like on Assetto Corsa. But the main thing was how does it drive? And actually guys, it drives really well. Now the cars on BMNG do run very differently to the ones on Assetto Corsa. BMNG has always been built from the ground up to be about the physics of the car and how that car is built from individual pieces. So if you do crash a car in BMNG, it crashes like a normal car and that is the beauty of it. So driving around this Bathurst track at this kind of speed, there is absolute peril. On a set of course, you would bounce off the side and potentially just carry on driving, not in BMNG and you'll see some of that later on. The reason I picked this car to show you Bathurst is that it's quite a well balanced car and it's not too bad to drive fast, it's got minimal understeer and oversteer and actually it's a little bit forgiving which is great. What I would say though is that the force feedback on BMNG is very different to what you would find on Assetto Corsa or other sim racers. Playing games like Assetto Corsa, Dirt Rally 2, Richard Burns Rally or iRacing we do get spoiled with the amount of force feedback that we've got. So I think BMNG has got a little bit further to go on that but actually it makes up with it in everything else it brings to the genre, especially those car physics. So as we complete one lap of the Bathurst track, I'd be really interested in the comment section what you think to this import of this famous track into BMNG from Assetto Corsa. But also I do want to show you what happens when you get it wrong on BMNG. So if you've not played this game before, this shows you why you can't always drive away from a little ding. Ouch, that is definitely not going to drive away. So now we've looked at Bathurst, let's look at another iconic track that's been converted for BMNG. And let's see if you can guess what it is. Of course, this is Spa. Here we are then at the iconic Spa, which we know is one of the favourite tracks of everybody in the world who loves motorsport. We're here in our BMW M4, M5 clone, not sure which one it is. It drives a little bit iffy, rear wheel drive, all that power. It's got a lot of fun, so you'll have to excuse my driving. But as we drive around this track, again, you can see how well this conversion has been pulled in. I'm always so impressed on the way that these modders pull all these different tracks from different games. And I know they use very similar tools to do it, but it's still really impressive work. And again, the beauty of bringing this track into BMNG is that it does drive different and you will be driving very different cars as well. The modding community in BMNG is extensive and I am going to be showing more and more some of the great mods on BMNG, especially the ones that mirror the sim racing world. But of course this is BMNG, not a set of Corsa and as I said, you cannot just bounce off some of the barriers in this game. So on these famous curves, get it wrong and look what happens. And that is the beauty of this game. Now, one of the things that I've not shown you on here is how you can build racers on at BeamNG and I will be doing that in future so you can put AI racers on all of these tracks as well. At the moment I'm just actually showing you the tracks themselves. So here we are then in an F1 car or a likeness of an F1 car going extremely fast on this spa track. So this is called Dead Ball Racing and um, it's one of the standard mods that you can get on BeamNG. Uh, and it's really cool. Now the grip and the way that this car drives is very different to that BMW M4. But that just brings even more excitement so let's see how fast we can go around this spa track.
So there we go, a lap of Spa in Dead Ball Racing. Now one of the cool things of the cars on BMNG is they are made up of individual components that all have their own physics. So take a look at what happens here when I go a little bit too fast down one of the back straights on this legendary Spa track. Yes, that is the front wing that's decided to leave my car. That is bad news at over 200 miles an hour. Wow, that has really wrecked the car, but you can see how all the different parts of the car have their own individual physics, which affects how you drive it. Really cool stuff. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to show you a little bit of something different, especially with this Assetto Corsa BMNG mashup. I will be showing more BMNG in the future, so do check out the channel for that. And again, check out the rest of all the content on the channel. There's lots more sim racing. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon.